Hey there, Calvary Kids. Thanks for joining us online this morning. If you haven't done so already, grab yourselves a piece of paper and some sort of crayon or pencil because later on we're going to learn how to draw something. I want you to have that ready to go. Um, I'm excited for what we have today. Uh, in just a minute, we got our friends Spike and Blue are going to join us and they're going to lead us through their world famous potato chip song. And I'm going to pray. So if you guys would pray with me, that'd be awesome. Father God, I just thank you for the time that we have this morning to gather together in this way, in these living rooms everywhere, and just uh, spend some time learning and celebrating you and who you are for us, God. We just thank you for this. In your name we pray. Amen. Hey guys, at this time I want to bring out my friends Spike in Blue. They're here. They're going to sing a song for you guys. Come on out, guys. Come on over. Guys? Hey, Spike. Yeah. How you doing this morning? Fantastic. All right. Hey, how long have you and Blue been together? 28 years. He doesn't look 28. He's 29. That's amazing. You age well, Blue. Good job. All right, here we go. It's their world-famous potato chip song. Here we go. Potato chip, potato chip, crunchy, crunchy. I love Jesus a bunchy, bunchy. Peanut butter, peanut butter, creamy, creamy. I hate the devil, he's mean, mean. I once met a blind man that walked like Till he met Jesus, now he walks like this. Potato chip, potato chip, crunchy, crunchy. I love Jesus, a bunchy, bunchy. Peanut butter, peanut butter, creamy, creamy. I heard the devil is meany, meany. I once met an angry man that walked like this. Until he met Jesus, now he walks like this. Potato chip, potato chip, crunchy, crunchy. I love Jesus a bunchy, bunchy. Peanut butter, peanut butter, creamy, creamy. I heard the devil, he's me, me, me. I once met a bus driver, drove like this. Until he met Jesus, now he drives like this. Potato chip, potato chip, crunchy, crunchy. I love Jesus a bunchy, bunchy Peanut butter, peanut butter, creamy, creamy I hate the devil, he's meany, meany Woo, that was awesome Oh, I know Man, you guys really wailed that one. Uh, good job, Lou. Hey, uh, if you guys don't mind, I've got my friend Kyleen, and she's going to lead us in a couple worship songs, and I'm actually going to learn the motions to one of the worship songs. Would you like to learn one of those with me? Sure. All right, let's hop up with Kyleen. Hey, guys, how are you guys doing? Let's do some dance moves. So we're going to do Deep Cries Out today. So if you guys remember, it's... We go down like this, put your hands like this out, and we're gonna go stirring up deep, deep wells. And we're gonna stand up, stirring up deep, deep waters. And then we're gonna dance in the river. And then we go back, put your hands like this again, and stirring up deep, deep wells, stirring up deep, deep waters. And then we're gonna jump in the river, okay? And then we take our hands like this, and we go deep, cries out, back to the other side, deep, cries out. And we do that again, so let's all do it together. Deep, cries out, and deep, cries out. And then we go, we cry out, and then we cry out to you, Jesus. Okay, you got that? Put her, you got it? Okay, and there's another part. Put your hands like this on your legs, and we're going, we're falling into deeper waters. And we're gonna go calling out to you. And then we're gonna walk into deeper waters and going after you, okay? And then we go to the left, and then we go to the right. And we're gonna do some jumping, 
and then jump in some more, and we do it again. We go to the left, and then we go to the right, and then we're gonna dance, 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 dance in the river. And then one more time, go to the left, and then we go to the right. And then you guys, as loud as you can, unless there's other kids in your house that are sleeping, you just go shout, 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 okay? Are you guys ready to put it all together and do the song? You guys ready? Okay, let's do it. Come on guys, let's stand up.
worship with us today. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that worship. I hope you got up off your couches. You did a little bit of dancing and jumping and shouting, but not too loud. And I hope you had a good time doing that. Hey, at this time, I am super excited because our friend Douglas is going to come join us. And he's got a little bit of a message for you guys. So sit back down on your couches, relax, get comfortable, and check this out. So many things in life that you just cannot do on your own. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and I wanted to talk to you guys today about cooperation. Yeah, so and that just means like working together with other people. You know, there's a whole lot in this world that we just cannot do by ourselves, and we need other people to help us. So I really learned this, this concept, this idea, at uh, my last family reunion. Now, my mom comes from this really, really big family, and so I've got a lot of cousins like a lot of cousins. I've got like 40 cousins or something like that. And there's like more cousins getting added every year. I don't know. I don't even know exactly how many of us there are. But we, we're kind of split off into like two groups. There's the older cousins and the younger cousins. And, and I'm one of the younger cousins. And, and uh, one of our older cousins, though, his name is Travis. And Travis is, well, he's still, so he's in high school. And uh, he thinks he's really cool. Okay. And he's always like bragging to his younger cousins. And he he kind of picks on us a little bit too. And one time he, he wanted to play football with us. All of us younger cousins versus Travis. And we were like, yeah, yeah, all together we can totally beat Travis. There were like 20 of us versus Travis. And, and we were playing tackle football, by the way. So Travis, you know, he takes the ball and he starts to run. And uh, we start going after him. And when we try to tackle him, each one of us is trying to tackle him. And we just like bounce off of him, you know, or he just like hits us and we fall down and it was like throwing a bunch of tennis balls at a brick wall and so he just ran into the touchdown and he's like yeah I'm the best I'm the best and he he was you know kind of kind of showboating a little bit and he kept scoring and kept scoring and kept scoring and we're you know we're just like we got to be able to do this we got to figure this out and one of my cousins he had this great idea he said let's stop trying to tackle him and let's just hang on okay so before we were trying to knock him down but one at a time we can't knock him down so we said okay we're just gonna hang on for dear life so this time, when he would run past us, we would just hang on. We couldn't knock him down, but we could hang on, and, and he could drag us for a little while. And he could drag, like, four or five of us. He's, he's pretty big, but he could not drag all of us, and he just kept getting slower and slower. And we're all jumping on him, and we're all yelling, bring him down, bring him down. And so, so he's getting slower and slower, and there's more of us just piling on and piling on and piling on. And finally, you couldn't even see Travis anymore. There were so many of us cousins on top of him, he couldn't move at all. And once we figured that out, he didn't score again for the whole rest of the day. And so when we worked together, when we came up with a plan and we, we worked together, instead of trying to just work one at a time, we were able to win. And it's kind of cool because when God made the universe, after he made everything, you know, he'd make one thing and he'd say, and he saw that it was good. And he'd make the next thing and he saw that it was good. And it was good and it was good. Everything that he made was good. But there was only one thing that wasn't good. And he totally fixed it. But the thing that he said wasn't good, he said it's not good for a man to be alone. Yeah, it's not good for us to be alone. We might feel like we can do things on our own, but we, we really can't. You know, even though Travis is way bigger than all of us, he couldn't take us on his own. And we definitely couldn't take him one-on-one. -on -one. But if we work all together, we can accomplish big things. And so, you know, I use tackling Travis as an example of, of cooperation, but, but that's just a silly thing. There are so many important things that we can do when we cooperate or things that we can do better when we cooperate. For example, let's say you want to you wanna help out the needy in your town. Okay, cool. You could raise a little bit of money and, and you could, you know, maybe buy some food and take it to the homeless shelter. But what if, instead of just doing it by yourself, you got a whole bunch of people all together doing the same thing, all working together, all cooperating towards a common goal? How much do you think you could get done if you got a big group together? Yeah, a lot. A lot of stuff you could get done. So my challenge to you guys today is that you would not be like Travis and think that you're all that and that you can do everything on your own, but that you'd be more like, like us bunch of cousins and all work together to get things done. Because when we cooperate, we can do big things. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that little message from Douglas. Uh, I hope you take it to heart that working together, we can accomplish a lot of things. And one of the things that I thought was really neat is that we could do something for our community 
if, if one person did it, that would be great, but if a bunch of you did it, that would be amazing. And that's, let's write some letters and send them to either a retirement home or write a few letters and just say hi to someone who's not being able to get out and, and visit other people or send some letters to some of our first responders. You guys choose, but we're, what we're gonna do now is my friend Nicole over here is gonna show us how to draw something and then you can take your drawing and you can add other things to it if you want. You can use it. You can put it whatever you want, but you can also take it and use it as a letter or something that you can send to someone else. So this is Nicole. Nicole, would you like to share what you're going to draw for us and teach us to draw? You're going to teach me to draw right now. Yes, absolutely. So today we are going to be drawing a cow. Last week we learned about the golden calf. So when I was asked to come teach you guys a drawing lesson, I was like, let's do a cow. It's super simple. Anybody can do it. And just remember that everybody's unique, and if yours doesn't look like mine, if yours doesn't look like Jeremy's, it's okay. It's just art. Art is art. Just have fun with it, because everybody's is going to be amazing. Ooh, do I get a pen? Here oh, is your marker. Thank you. All right, can you walk me through step by step on this? Yes. So the first step is going to be our cow's head, and we're just going to do a quick oval shape. Perfect. Our next step is going to be his body. It's just going to be another oval, except it's going to be bigger. All right, you have a very giant cow, and that's incredible. You said bigger. It's, it's perfect. It's, bigger. it's perfect. So cows have these big noses. Now we're not going to add a detailed nose, but to show that the cow has a nose, we're just going to do a little rainbow halfway through his head. Just like that. Ooh, I can do a rainbow. Great. Did and you know it was St. Patrick's Day this week? I did know. You said rainbow, so I just thought oh, St. Yes, Patrick's rainbow, Day. Oh, yes, rainbow, St. Patrick's Day. So with uh, no nose is complete without some nostrils. So we are just going to do two little ovals. Good job. And to, co to complete his face, we're going to do some eyeballs, which is just two little circles. I'm done. You can move on. Great job. Thank so you. So on my cows, I know they don't all have them, but I like them to have tiny little horns. So I'm just going to do two tiny rainbows on the top of his head. And we're going to give him some big ears. So they're kind of just rounded triangles. And then I make a line down the middle to show the inside part of his ears. I'm afraid my cow is looking like a bunny rabbit. Mm. That's okay, though. It's okay. It's still Bunny perfect. rabbits don't have horns, so. Yes, it still has horns. I like this part that you added. Got it. All right, Thanks, and for Nicole. his legs, we're just gonna do some long, skinny rectangles, and we'll do four of them coming off the bottom of his body. And then I like to, you know, cows have hooves, so I'll just put a little line on the bottom to signify that he does have some hooves on the bottom of his feet, bottom of his legs. We'll make a tail. The tail is just simple. It's one line down and then a teardrop for the end of it. All right. And this is a total preference. You can make your cow look however you want. Whatever color you want, rainbow, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to add in some of the famous cow dots right all over him. <laughs> I just do some squiggle lines all over his body to signify that he is a cow. It also looks like a planet. I like it. Planet Earth cow. That's great. It's a happy cow. 
And that's it. That's all you need. Well, thanks, Nicole. You're welcome. This was really fun. I hope that you guys also got to draw your cows. If you need to take a little bit more time drawing and coloring your cow, that would be spectacular. And then have your parents help you fold it up and set it in an envelope, write a little letter, a thank you to someone you know and you care about, and we'll have them help you mail that out. That'd be awesome. Thank you, guys. And thank you, Nicole. It was very fun to draw. Well, you are very welcome, and I'm looking forward to our next art lesson. All right. So, hey, if you guys would just sit back down. I know you just did your drawing, and when you're done with that, sit back down and just enjoy this. Next time, our friend Lauren is going to come share a story with us for all of you guys. So check this out and enjoy. Last week, we talked about how Moses was angry because God's people, or the Israelites, made a false idol, a golden calf fake God, because was Moses was gone on the mountain for so long. God didn't want to have, to have Moses up on the mountain all the time. God wanted to go with the people as they searched for the promised land and forever after that. But because people sin and God is holy, he can't walk among people. Eventually, God sent Jesus to help with that, but that would be many years later. So first, God told Moses to tell the Israelites to make a tabernacle for him so that he could dwell or hang out with them. A tabernacle is a tent. God gave Moses very specific instructions for building the tabernacle. This week, two friends, Bezalel and Oholiab, are going to help us tell the story. Enjoy this little Lego movie. Oholiab, have you ever followed instructions for something? My mom does when she makes pancakes. I'm not sure if I ever have. I followed instructions once when I built my first Lego tower. That was pretty awesome. Moses, Moses, I want you to build me a tabernacle. It's like a big tent. Well, I'll come and live with you. Have the people gather all the stuff that you'll need to build it. All right, get going. Get it done. Thanks. All right, all right, guys. Um, you need to uh, bring materials. We need some gold, silver, bronze. I need some blue and purple, some scarlet yarn, some fine linen, some goat hair. Uh, yeah, a bunch of stuff like that. Oil, spices, gemstones, whatever you got. Uh, go ahead and bring it to these guys here. And they've got some uh, special building skills. They're going to put this together. Oh, now it's like I got too much stuff. Uh, Moses. We got too much stuff. People keep bringing us stuff. Okay, okay. I will talk to the people. Uh, people, you brought us so much stuff. You did such a good job. We have plenty. Thank you. That's all. I can't believe we're almost done. I know everyone brought us so much stuff. We all The Israelites successfully created the tabernacle. It is amazing what we can do when we work together. Nowadays, we gather in a church building and seeing his people worship him together makes God happy. But Jesus specifically says we do not need the building to be with God. We just need Jesus in our hearts. Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed our time together today. I know that I did, and I'm super excited for what we have next week. My friend Jason is up here, and he's going to close us out in a word of prayer. All right, everybody out there, let's take your hats off and ready to pray. Here we go. 
Lord, uh, thank you that we get to do this together. Uh, I pray for the week, uh, that everything go well, and that you just have your hand upon it. Keep us all safe and healthy, and uh, be with uh, everybody, Lord. We give this all to you in your name. Amen. Amen. Hey, we'll see you guys next week.